Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create tunnel with InfraWorks 2025 but you can use, uh, I think it exists since two years now. So it's an urban area near to Grenoble. So I will show you this process not to have a lot of intersection when you create the road. So I will do at first, I will create a planning road. Then I will move down this planning road to a lower z value so there is no cross section then i will convert to a component road and then i will add a tunnel and i will adjust the profile view and and i will create a storyboard small video fastly done with infraworks i will show you too the bidirection link with excel and for a more detailed and advanced proposition or project, the link between Civil 3D and InfraWorks and with Revit with the extension. So at first I will go in the option and to say I want to delay the regeneration of the model. So when I move uh, nodes, points, I will need some points and I will ask when I want a generation. It will be faster. So I will first set my component road uh, tunnel. So I go in the steel palette and I will look for tunnel. And I have two. One is circular, as you can see, and the other one is rectangle. So you can set a parameter. Okay, just have a look at the other one. Okay, depending of what you want to do. Okay, so now I will go in creation and I will create my tunnel from the starting point so I can look for tunnel here from a starting point here in the field to the other side of the mountain where there is no houses of course it's a pure exercise to explain how to do it's not a, a real project and after i validate and it creates as you can see the tunnel so now i will select it so let's move to engineering view to have a better view select it and I will move down not to have interac interaction and of course uh, the real value of the tunnel will depend on geotechnical uh, stuff but here I select the point and I will move down on this side and I will do the same on the other side So here and on the other side. Yeah, you can do it from upper view if you want to. You have the same small component and you can select. So after I have the refresh of my road, okay, which is a tunnel, and now there is no uh, problem of intersection. I will switch my planning road to a component road. So I select, right click, and I will choose transform to component road. And now I have a component road. So now I can apply for a structure which will be a tunnel so i right click and i add a structure which is a tunnel from the starting point to the end and of course i will be able to adjust it after based on all the need here that's done now I can change the style of the tunnel from a rectangular to a circular or more advanced one. You can even choose uh, based on Revit family. 
as you can see up here. So after I will adjust, so I display the cross section, the longitudinal view, and here have the elements. I will display all except junction because I don't need them here. And I will focus on the beginning and the end. So at first I will change uh, the end Z value to be uh, on the terrain. I will add uh, some points, it can be curve points, and I will change the radius here. So you just have to select the line and right click, hide point. You can adapt in 3D on top or in the 2D view uh, below to see if it fits. And after you know, you can track with the yellow um, cylinder below. So after you can adapt yeah, and same if you want to add another junction like this. And when I click on the 3D, it updates. That's why it's nice not to update everything every time when you touch uh, one point. The portal frame and after I will adapt uh, the road after uh, the tunnel. So I will add point and connect with the other, change the radius. Of course, I was warning because it wasn't uh, respecting the convention I, I have here and after time to update. Here it's update. So here, after, if you want to see um, how it will go, you can create a story. So I will create a new one. Here I will add, for example, this frame. So I will give a name and I will add uh, this frame. And after I will add uh, the road. So I want it to start with the road here. I will select the level of my eyes. So I will expect I'm on the side of the road in a car like this. And then after I can play. Well, I could have played in full screen, but here I play not in full screen. And after you can export, uh, as you can see at the top, in MP4 or other format. So here, when I go in the tunnel, so maybe the speed is a little bit upper than what I should have. But, and of course, I will skip all the middle because it will be continue. And then I will arrive at the end to get out. So the idea is to create a really uh, fast proposal. And now you see we are out. So another mean that you can edit easily, in fact, uh, your tunnel, it's to export to Excel. So you have it in Excel. Then in Excel, all what is blue, you can update. So you can update for all segment or only one as you as you want and um, after you will be able to do the same here you have all the segments for portal frame so i will uh, change um, the size as you can see well it's excel so you can easily edit then you save and then after on infraworks you can easily come and say that you want to update and since I, I change as you can see the size the size update and you can see all in the parameters that it. let's create a clipping plan so here i will choose where it is and then i will select to have a half uh, to see a half of my tunnel like this so it can help to see uh, if it fits your needs and um, now Let's uh, export all this in IMX file. So this IMX file, you will be able to open it with Civil 3D and Revit. 
So let's move to Seal3D. So you have directly uh, a button and so you can import the IMX. So it's all Civil 3D element and then you can adjust the alignment and then you will be able to upload back. You can create um, a view if you want like this. Well, there is a lot of parameters. I won't go in detail. I only select my view and then I go. There is, as you can see, a small wizard which is launching. I will let all by default and then I will create my profile view here. So you can create uh, in different uh, options if you want, like I've done upper, but here and you can edit on it with all the precision of AutoCAD if needed. So now let's switch to Revit. So in Revit, you need an add-on. So you have it on your Autodesk account, Revit in Fireworks add-on. So then I will create a new project with my template. And then I will import this IMX file directly. So it takes about some minutes. And then here, what you can see, it's because I select Revit family inside InfraWorks, it's Revit family in Revit. And of course, because it's a family, you can edit open. And of course, if you update it, it's better to update uh, in InfraWorks and then to uh, update the Revit file. But it's just for you to see. And of course, since you are in Revit, you will define the project north. So I will align on the first portal, for example. And then, of course, I will uh, create a view. I think everyone knows how to do it, but just. And after, you will be able to create uh, all the detail you need, level, filter, uh, like this. Thank you for watching.